welcome to the holiday edition of Joy News Interactive with me, Faustina Safu. Join the conversation on Facebook and Twitter. We are Joy News on TV. It's Easter Monday and it's time for everyone to have fun. So join us, let's have the fun. Drop your comments on social media, Facebook, we are Joy News on TV. Make sure you're commenting, we'll also take your feed on Twitter as well. Now, Chelsea must have thought that their proud record in the Premier League was going to remain intact when Alvaro Morata gave them the lead. But it turned into a painful day for the team as Delhi Ali scored the third goal that made certain Tottenham's first victory at Stanford bridge since 1990 now chelsea's loss is a big deal because stanford bridge is home what do you think accounted for their defeat what happened is it a fault of the coach is it a fault of the team members what happened um and we have comments here on facebook mensa says i think kotoko did really well good interpersonally play great passes all around the pitch was poor which couldn't facilitate silky passes but in all i think it was okay can we help promote our own well he's saying there we have four replies there let's take it kofi Owusu says oh hmm the way now they play sd was good pie especially the second half mensa says i didn't watch it but it was good he comments again and kofi Owusu says it was really good and it was as a stadium and so i can boldly tell you that they played really good mentor then comments might come next march day david says talk about your home team because they too didn't think about yours Emmanuel says on that day they played against the better side. Mohammed says, What exactly do you think? See question. Kinsley goes on to say, in fact, the team is just a disgrace to footballhood. It's a it's high time they officially change the name as Chell and he puts S H I T. Can't say that on air. Now, let's go to Twitter. Let's find out from you what you make of Chelsea's defeat. What happened? Uh, a lot of comments coming on. Chelsea is trending on Twitter. When you come to Ghana, it's one of the first news trending there. Uh, let's take some comments. Um, Chris says, this photo of Delhi Ali getting abused by Chelsea fans after scoring is like a giant um, Runan's canvas. The more you look, the more characters and possibly backstories you discover. Let's take other comments. Here, football is saying something. He says Liverpool 66 points, Tottenham 46 points, Chelsea 56 points. Obviously, his comment is clear there. Chelsea is going to the Europa League and that's a picture to mock them. Very funny there, but he's making his point clear. Now, Gary says it's 28 seconds since Spur last beat Chelsea at Stamford Bridge. He's happy about that, I can tell. Now, let's find other tweets related to that. Soccer AM retweeted and it says, brighten up. A Chelsea's fan timeline. <laughs> wow, very funny there. So more comments coming in for Chelsea. But what do you think? Share with us on Facebook. We are joining us on TV and Twitter as well. Let's know what you make of Chelsea's defeat. Are we expecting too much from our star teams? Is Tottenham the next big thing? Okay. Uh, Morata has now scored more headed goals than any other player in a single PL season for Chelsea taking over he says now great 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 more pictures there coming from them let's take more comments on that 
You can drop your comments as well and we'll be reading them live right here on Joe News Interactive. Now, Man City 2017 stroke 18, Arsenal Invisibles, Chelsea 2004 stroke 2005, Man United ter treble winning side in a group of debt, which team places where? And that's hashtag MOTD2. More comments coming up. Um, Daily puts a big dent in Chelsea's Champions League hopes. Hmm. More comments we can see. You can also comment on our platforms. Chelsea handler, my armed guards don't have semi-automatic weapons and that is coming from a simple patriot. Hashtag 2A. interesting when it comes to sport there now for those of us the female who anytime we're watching football all we see are cute guys running around you need to follow the league chelsea unfortunately you are not doing that well but hey you're doing better than most teams i know arsenal for example so let's move on anthony joshua has taking the distance for the first time in 21 paid bouts collected a third world title belt when he crushed to a convincing if drama free win over the wbo champion joseph parker and looks in good shape to raise his game for what will be a more demanding assignment against dion a bit harsh on the new zealand who might have had a share of the sixth and a shout of stealing the seventh in a fleeting period of success but the verdict was overall fair. It was a technical fight, a clinical victory. Let's see how the world is reacting to it on Facebook and Twitter as well. Let's forsake Twitter first and Anthony Joshua's official page. He says, introducing you to the sweet science of boxing, hit and don't get hit. <laughs> Makes me want to go into boxing. Let's find out more comments on Twitter. more comments coming through you can also send your comments on facebook we are joining news on tv um anthony joshua still posts following the path that has been walked by boxing legends hashtag ajb xng wow look at those titles you know we should link up one of these days probably i'll be his coach and then he still posts more on his page there um he's saying focus Well, Joe News Interactive takes this quick break. And when we come back, we have more comments from you on Anthony Joshua. Just stay with us. Welcome back. If you just tuned in, you're watching Joe News Interactive with me, Faustina Savo. Now, before we went, we're talking Anthony Joshua. He's the man of the moment. 12 matches, no, 21 matches, 21 wins. Who else does that? accept him so we've been taking your comments on twitter let's find out what else you have to say um she says i am am i the only girl who's really glad that aj has a stamina for 12 rounds she questions if you know you know hashtag anthony joshua and that's coming from turner there she has other tweets benage robert says he's not gonna touch you you riddled little insults there we can take that um why would he need to go 12 rounds he questions any opponent should have the sheet flooded flooded by the time he rounds off the second round that's coming from lou king jerry says replying to um turner i think he can even do more than that and he puts smiling emojis there more comments coming through for anthony joshua there viral star says uh, let's take another comment there. This is every time the refs stop the fight. Hashtag Joshua Parker. Hashtag Anthony Joshua. And that's the, <laughs> the funny video there of Akin and he's crying. Let's move on to our next comment. More comments coming in for Anthony Joshua. Bruce, Bruce 
says, Anton Joshua literally cut a promo about his jab after the fight. You can't make his S come up. The guy has the charisma of a dirty wet socks. I want to see um, Deontay Wilder knock his boring smug out. Done with Anthony Joshua. Boring, he says. The fight was boring for you. How? Well, probably you're not a fan. Gerald says, yeah. This was not a good performance. His tone after the fight told me that he isn't sure about himself against Wilder. Him and his team aren't taking the fight serious. The only way it happens is if the fight is in England and they have a hand in picking the ref and judges. He's allegating there. And Johnson says, nah, AJ made a good point. For years, they've had to go to America if they wanted to fight. But right now, it's the Americans' turn to come to the UK. Gerald says, because America is a place where all big fights happen, they can fight here, England, Egypt, wherever. Just do it already. Now, enough about boxing. Let's talk Easter. Now, we know Easter is a time to commemorate the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ, as well as spend time with your loved ones. How have you been celebrating your Easter? How has it been for you? Have you been eating, resting? Let me know on Facebook. Let's take your comments. How has your Easter been? And Elvis Watting says, Jesus Christ is coming soon. Repent and accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Abna Yamiche says, very bad. And one reply there for Abna, let's take it. Success says, normal and usual. David Ohiniba says, and what is the meaning of using egg significance? Egg significance about Easter. I'm sure that's what he's trying to say. He's trying to imply that, you know, we have Easter bunnies and it's mostly about eggs. So what's the meaning of that? Amon Persi says, hi, whoever is reading this, I understand how rough things are right now. I just want you to know that things will get better. I promise. Keep holding on just a little bit longer. I know you feel like nobody really cares. You are wrong. Stop denying it. I care. Otherwise, I wouldn't be writing this. You're not alone. We may be miles apart away, but we're all going through the same things. Please keep holding on. And Amankwa is giving us some encouragement this morning. While on your says, hmm, I'm going to broaden my horizon today in Alisa Hotel. So please, you are invited. But it was normal to me. So I call you have an invite there. Please make sure you meet while you're there. And Chef the Man says, good so far. We are calm with it, reflecting on all that Christ has done for us. More comments coming through. Amen. Jesus Christ, um, name, I guess. What, what is he trying to say? His kind name, amen. That is coming from Chaniam. Eriko says, happy Easter. Same to you. Thanks a lot. Shalom. Ni Note says, what are you doing with the eggs? I haven't gotten eggs. I am a chicken fan. So, Kweko Herod says, hmm, we are managing. Park of e says, everywhere you are, the everywhere you are, the bad man. Okay, I'm sure probably things are not working out for Kofi this morning. Superb says, Kanti Daniels. Prince Asari says, what has the pascal sacrifice got to do with easter bunny and eggs why do you choose to subscribe to white supremacy questions so enough about the eggs when last did you go to church two weeks five months or wait you're part of the god knows my heart association well but how is it for you Easter for me has been great. It's been exciting. Spent it here at work with a call. But hey, don't worry. Tomorrow is work, so don't get so excited. Make sure you iron your dress. Get ready for tomorrow because tomorrow the traffic is going to be beautiful in town. My name is Faustina Safo. Thank you to my crew. Thank you to Gomez, Pat, everyone behind. And of course, my producer, Echo, for making today a success. Do have a wonderful day as you enjoy the rest of our programs. From the Joy News Interactive team, adios.